want to affirm that the sanctity of all human life. And every time a person dies from violence, it's a tragic, tragic loss. And if that person's a Christian or a Muslim or a Biram or a Fulani or a farmer or a herder, whenever a person dies by violence, it's a terrible tragedy. I think it's clear that, and we know this, and government knows this as well, but it's very important there be a strong law enforcement response. I think that there are a lot of people doing good things and working hard, but there needs to be even more done because it's clear that the, there is a climate of impunity where people are committing these terrible crimes and they're getting away with it. They're not being brought to justice. And I think it's so, so important that there be strong efforts uh, to be involved to make sure that people are brought to justice for these terrible crimes. It's also important that there be efforts to address the drivers of conflict, that we address um, opportunity and to fight poverty and provide jobs and home for young people because ultimately young people are getting into these terrible groups and doing these awful things but they really need to have a positive future. There needs to be good mentoring and good parenting. And so there's so many things that are important but lastly I would say it's so critically important that there be strong peacemaking and I visited uh, yesterday with Imam Abdullahi Abubakar in Yar village in Barkin Ladi and I was just so I'm so impressed. I met him three times, and this time I went to his village and went to his mosque. And I, he and his fellow Imam literally saved the lives of 300 people because of their bravery. Christians and Muslims, farmers in that neighborhood. And I just think that for me, it's a, a powerful challenge of the importance of all of us working for peace and preventing reprisal and counter-reprisals of violence because this country so needs peace. The world needs peace. And for me, it's inspiring to meet someone like Imam Abdullahi because he inspires me to work